Congressman Kim Buck joins us now. Congressman, great to see you this morning. Uh, let's talk about that moment. Treason. You went directly at Mayorkas and repeated something you said you're hearing from your constituents. I'm curious, um, is that a specific term in your mind? Is that something that is uh, narrowly tailored in your indictment of what Mayorkas has done in his job? I think my constituents understand that when an NFL coach doesn't win a game for 13 seasons, uh, five seasons, three seasons, they're going to lose their job. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas should lose his job. What he's done at the border is a complete and total failure. He has dismantled the effective policies from President Trump, and the result is that we have chaos at the border. We have record numbers of illegal immigrants coming into this country. We have uh, thousands of pounds of fentanyl coming into this country. We have record numbers of Americans dying from fentanyl overdose. Number one cause of death between uh, ages 18 and 45, fentanyl overdose. That's disgraceful. And, and this secretary acts as if he has been successful on the border. What I asked him to do was to explain to my constituents why he is not acting intentionally when he is opening our southern border. Yeah, Congressman, uh, I, I want to I want to actually come back to your analogy in just one moment, but let's follow up on this this line of questioning about about the impeachment and in or treason, and then what it could mean in terms of heard the the concept of impeachment brought up. I've honestly never thought about this when it comes to cabinet members. How does that process work? Is that something that can be done in removing, you know, an officer under the executive branch? It can be a, 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 a officer can be impeached. Um, by Congress, obviously the the House impeaches and the the Senate convicts, uh, and and I don't know that I have uh, I can remember a more deserving uh, uh, candidate for impeachment than Secretary Mayorkas. What what he has done is intentional. He, you know he has these mm -hmm. uh, private organizations that the the federal government is paying using taxpayer dollars to pay that actually recruit allegedly recruit and train illegal immigrants to come into this country and say the right things. Right. If that's happening, along with opening our southern border, along with his statement that he believes we should have amnesty for uh, people who have come into this country illegally, then I, I believe that what he has done is, is certainly deserving of, of further scrutiny. Yeah, and Congressman, I'm pressing you on specificity here when it comes to this term because what we're talking about ultimately is accountability. I don't think there's any doubt what you're saying is true, that, that, that the oath of office has been abdicated and it has been done so intentionally. So now, at the end of our conversation, then let's push for that accountability that I'm kind of narrowly tailoring you into. And I want to go back to your analogy. The problem is when a football coach loses games, he gets fired, the head coach, as you mentioned. Is Mayorkas the head football coach on this intentional policy, or is he simply the offensive coordinator or the quarterback coach implementing a policy coming down from a head coach that we would assume is the president of the United States? Well, I think he's clearly acting at the direction and at the behest of the president of the United States, but I also think that he has to accept responsibility. And what he's done uh, specifically uh, President Biden asked him to look at the Remain in Mexico policy. He left it up to Secretary Mayorkas to decide to remove that policy. So uh, Secretary Mayorkas was given certain discretion and, and exercised that discretion in a way that, that is uh, uh, harmful to the United States. Should President Biden be held accountable also? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I guess what we're talking about is the beginning of accountability. Um, and so we look forward to seeing where this goes. Congressman Ken Buck, thank you for sharing with us your intentions, we hope, going forward. Thank you. Thank you.